joining us is uh, Santi Tan Satarathai. He's uh, an economist with Credit Suisse in Singapore. He's just back from Thailand as well. Well, what did you make of these uh, results here, uh, Santi Tan Satarai? Given also what it means when we look at the economic horizon as well and how that may well have evolved. Thank you. I think um, you know, it's easy to overemphasize the downside risk to growth um, from potential political instability in the short term. I think the key risk actually is, over the medium term, is in inflation. And this is because we have seen you know, a very strong demand this year, underlying demand, and also the inflation is being driven by a minimum wage hike that we have seen earlier this year. Together, this is two recipe for stronger and sicker inflation going forward. And now we have a new government who also promised to deliver a large minimum wage hike, even larger than we have seen this year and over the past 10 years. I think putting all the pieces together, inflation will be the key things to watch, and we expect the Bank of Thailand to remain very hawkish, um, expecting another 75 basis point by the end of this year. Well, a lot of politicians, of course, make all sorts of promises when they're on the hustings. I mean, they may not follow through with some of these, so we may be worrying over nothing, right? Yeah, I think there are two points on that. So, you know, number one is that I think the, the political division in the past years has emphasized the importance of keeping the rural voters and the grassroots people happy. So I think that you know, political pressure would be out there in order to put the government to do this. And secondly, I think that... Um, the, even if the minimum wage was only hike, only, fifth, only half of the um, promise were done, this can actually have quite a significant impact. So, you know, it's not something we can take lightly on these issues. Right. So what happens here also with the uh, currency risk, Thai baht, does it appreciate looking ahead? And mm. that could, of course, uh, be inflationary in itself. I think um, this could be mixed. Uh, in the short term, you will see a bit of a volatility in the Thai baht. Right now, we're going to see a bounce, you know, a bullish welcome to the strong government. But then in the first sign of instability we see, we might see the bar tumble and wobbling around a little bit. But I think the key thing to stress is that over the longer term, over the you know, second half of the year, we expect the performance of the Thai bar to be better than the first half, not so much because of politics, but more because of the trade flows and fundamentals of FDI flows. Of course, this is an export-based economy to some extent, or export-orientated economy. So, Indeed. of course, if we do see a global slowdown, that could hurt things as far as that goes. Uh, what is, what's your thinking with regard to that? I think, you know, at least in, in, in the third quarter, we'll see a bounce back because the exports uh, from Thailand uh, to Japan was disrupted earlier due to the supply chain's issue. Now it's coming back, bouncing back, so at least you know, that will be positive. And on the longer term, one thing to remember is that um, Thai export basket is very diversified, both in terms of products and also in terms of the uh, country destination. So this will help it somewhat diversify and reduce risk of the slowdown. But Nat Nat, who would have been better as, uh, for the Thai economy, the present regime, or should I say the present administration, or indeed a Ying Look looking ahead? I think it's you know, too early to tell. It's difficult to say at this point. Uh, as you said earlier, we have to see how the promises is translated into policy. I think the one positive thing about uh, this new government is we having a strong mandate government who can implement their policies effectively. But of course, that could be a good thing or a bad thing because if, if the policy is in the right direction, it's be very positive for the economy. We can see you know, corporate tax cut, infrastructure projects going. But at the same time, if the policy is, is not in the right direction, we see too much, uh, too aggressive for minimum wage hike, increase in farm income, then you know, that could be bad for the economy as well. Um, and it remains to be seen how they would carry out these policies. Santitan Satarantai, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, he's from Credit Suisse, just uh, having a look at uh, the prospects for the economy given uh, the election of uh, Taxi and Shinawat's sister, uh, Yingluk Shinawat, there on Sunday.